this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel with a new Lightroom tutorial on how to undo or reset some or even all of your development edits. If you applied a bunch of adjustments to a photo and decide that you don't like how it looks or changed your mind, or maybe you applied a preset and it just looks hideous, you have several easy ways to undo it in Lightroom. Unlike Photoshop, which makes pixel changes to your images, all of Lightroom's edits are actually instructions to the catalog database. In Photoshop, once you have closed the program, the history is gone from the buffer. But in Lightroom, this history of all of your steps is always available to you days, months, and even years later. So let's look at different ways you can undo what you did. The first way is if you only need to undo perhaps a last step or two is to simply hit Control or Command Z to undo it. So say I move the exposure way down here and obviously that looks terrible. So I have Windows so I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo it. If you have Mac you would hit Command Z and you can see that it went back to where it was. Now, if you want to reset all of the sliders in a panel or in a panel section, you can simply double click on the header for it. So for example, if I wanted to reset exposure to zero it out, to zero out the slider, I could just double click on exposure and you can see that it reverts to zero. If I want to reset all of, all of the settings here under tone, I could just double click on tone and that is zeroed out. So now to undo that, since I made two changes, I'm just going to hit control Z a couple of times and I'll go back to where I was before. Now maybe you want to go back, you know, pretty far, maybe 10 or 20 steps. So that is where the history panel over here on the left comes in very handy. The history panel keeps track of every change you make in the develop module. It's sequential, so it lists the edits in the order that they were applied with the latest on top. So you can go back just a few steps, or you could go back, say you want to go back to here, or you could go all the way back to the import. And if you want to see how your photo looked before you made an adjustment, say a previous state, you can just hover your mouse over that state. And if you look up in the navigator window up at the top left, you can see, uh, if you watch as I hover over these various states, you can see the changes. So if you decide that you like something better, you can just simply go back to it. By clicking on it. So if we want to go back here, let's just go back right here to exposure and that reverts it to that previous state. Now here's something that you need to be careful of. If you go back to, let's say I go back to, let's go back to this state, black clipping down here. So you can see that all of these addition, it reverted back to this position but you can see that all of these additional steps are still available. But if I go ahead and make a new edit, all of these are going to disappear. So that's just something that you just need to be aware of. Now, if you want to go back to zero and just start over with your image, you can go back to the way it was when it was imported. And here it was. But look at this. These are not zeroed out. And the reason why is because when I imported this image, I just didn't import it just straight from the camera bare. I used an import preset, a develop preset, when this image was imported. So it's reverting back to that state. So if you want to go all the way back to the very beginning, the way it came out of your camera, then just hit reset. Now look at the sliders. They're all zeroed out here. And if you look at the history panel, you can see now all of the other st states disappeared and we're at reset settings. Now, if you did an oops and you didn't mean to do that, just hit Control or Command Z and you can get back to where you were. 
One other thing that is helpful is if you want to make a record of how your image looked at a certain point in time so that you can go back to it later if you choose, you can make a snapshot. Just above the History panel is the Snapshot panel. To create a snapshot, first let's just go back to, let's just go back to another state so we can um, create a snapshot when the image looked like this. So to create a snapshot, just click the plus sign here and this window will open up and you can give your snapshot a name. I'm going to call it vignette and click on create. And then you see that it will appear here under snapshots. And then let's go back to the history. And now I can go back, I can make you know any changes I want. And let's go back to this state. Then I can go back to the snapshot panel and I can go back here. If I want to take my image back there, if I like that better, then I can go back to this state. So that just gives you another option for um, undoing things or redoing things, um, gives you just another way of working with your images. And if you actually want to create a different version of a photo, say you, have, you want to create a black and white version of a photo, you can use virtual copies. A virtual copy is um, it's not an actual master file or you know a pixel based file but what it does is Lightroom says a different editing recipe if you will to the Lightroom catalog so to create a virtual copy you can right click on the image click on create virtual copy and now you can go ahead and make uh, additional edits to this image and you will still have your original. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to digital photography basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun, and I'll see you back here soon.